I forrige uke fant våre venner roen med ekte norsk sommer i Sogndalstrand. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Og etter en avslappende konkurranse var det dessverre Cheyenne som måtte reise hjem til USA. I just feel like I'll be back. I hope I get to connect with my family, even though I'm going home. Våre fire gjenværende norsk-amerikanere er i Vestagder, nærmere bestemt i Flekkefjord kommune. De aner ikke hva som venter dem denne uka. Det eneste de vet er at de skal møte på Flekkefjordbanen ved Selura holdeplass. Det er en railroad-track. Hva er vi opp til? Det er det vi er opp til. Åh, åh, åh! Åh, åh, åh! Hva er det? Jeg har aldri sett dette, hva dette er, før. Jeg vet ikke hva de er kalt, men det er en slags railroad-bicykel. Det er veldig kult! Who would expect that? It's not one of those things to go like this. No. It's yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's a bike. Oh my god, how fun is this? Oh my god, I can't wait. I have never seen a bike on a railroad track before, ever. All right, well, where does this take us? I am so excited for this. I think it's going to be super fun. You guys almost ready to hit it? Yeah. yeah. Especially if we go through some like tunnels or something or over like a really cool bridge. I think it's going to be a blast. Ready? Ooh, here we go. All right, here. Oh. Yeah. This is wild, huh? Where are we going? Cool. Over the bridge. Woo! Over the bridge. Wow. What a way to see Norway, huh? Wow. This is crazy. Amazing. I love this. The scenery that we had to look at was so cool. I've never biked on a railroad before, and it was so fun. Especially going in the tunnels, I think that was my favorite part. This is so cool to be like this close to the inside of a tunnel. We went through a lot of tunnels, and when you got into the tunnels, it was very cool. Like, the temperature, it felt like it dropped like 20 degrees at least. And it was kind of spooky in there too, this water dripping. You got a little bit wet. Raindrops on my head. This is like a amusement park ride. It was very much like Indiana Jones, maybe a bowler. boulder was going to come flying out at you or something. What a gorgeous day. This is fantastic. Ooh, another oh, tunnel. A tunnel! What the heck? What is that? Looks like a fire. Is that a torch? What the heck? Uh, when we saw the flames ahead, you know, that's kind of when that whole Disney World vibe goes. It's like, what is this? Because it's not usual. Slow down, guys. What is this? When I saw the little flames flickering over there, I thought it was going to be like an archway <laughs> and we were going to go in somewhere and they were going to be like, hello, you're now a Viking. What on earth? Ing. Ingeting. 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 Uh, I don't know. Ingeting. Nothing. So it was nothing, but it, it was nothing, but it was something, but it was nothing. Nothing? Okay. What do you mean it's nothing? Do I pull a lever and yeah. <laughs> the secret passage opens up? Wait a second. Is there something there? There's got to be something. There's got to be. be. Whoa, careful. Oh. No. Okay, I'm confused. It was very confusing coming to that little stopping point and uh, not having any more direction other than that clue. Wait a second, there's a hole there. Do it. Oh, oh. I don't think it's anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing. I figured there should be something that we're supposed to do there, but... Should we just keep going? There might be more of these up ahead. Maybe we're supposed to do nothing and just continue onward, which is what we did. Well, let's get going right. here. I don't know about nothing. Nothing, <laughs> nothing. nothing seems like something. Oh, wow. Back in the sunshine. Oh, this is beautiful. Back to the real world. What's down there? Oh, gosh. Rock slide ahead. Rock the road is closed. Oh. Oh no, what are we gonna do? I don't know. That thing said nothing back there, so maybe this means nothing. 
<laughs> this means nothing. We move the things and we keep going. It looks like serious, though, to me. When we came around the bend, there was a roadblock because uh, I guess the road was closed because of falling rock, which doesn't surprise me. I mean, everything's so rocky around here that a rock slide is bound to happen eventually. Why don't we check out where we're going first Let's before we make any yeah. decisions? And come back sure. for our bags. Okay. All that? right. Oh, look who it is. Oh. Hey. Was it fun? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. What's it called in American? Uh, no. A rail bike? It's called a Drazen. A Drazen? Drazen. Yeah, because it was invented back in the 1840s by a German guy called Karl Drace. OK. So he just basically named it after himself. Oh, OK. That works. But anyway, there's a rock slide ahead, or oh. as we call it, a Steinros. Steinros. And that's a common problem in Norway, because mm. if there's one thing we've got more than enough of in Norway, it's rocks. Oh, yes. <laughs> we have so many mountains that we've become experts at making stone bridges and tunnels. Mm. And actually, the world's longest car tunnel is in Lardal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah, we drove through it. Yeah, yeah, we went yeah, through it, right? Yeah. It might be dorky, but I think it's really cool that my hometown, Lardal, has the longest road tunnel in the world. I feel like it's a weird sort of bragging right to have. Like, oh, where I come from has the longest road tunnel in the world. How about your town? And since we've all been surrounded by mountains and rocks our whole lives, it's also become a great part of our language and of our fairy tales. And some of the more spectacular rock formations have also become huge tourist attractions. You might have heard of the, the pulpit rock. Yes. yes. Yeah. As we say, prekestolen. Prekestolen. Or kjæragbolten. Kjæragbolten. But this week, you're going to find another famous attraction made from rock. Okay. Oh. And when you get there, at the end of your rocky road, <laughs> there's going to be a competition. Ooh. So you need to pay attention to everything you learn this week. Mm. Because the outcome of that competition is definitely not written in stone. Here's some hints about where you need to go. OK. Uh -oh. Back there is a car at your disposal. Who wants okay. it? Who wants to drive? OK. And when you find it, I'll see you there. All right. Oh, nice. OK. Cool. Right. Thank you a lot, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Nice. Yay, road trip. I'm excited to go on this road trip. I imagine that we'll have many opportunities to see something cool. National, National Park. Park. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. I say we get in the car and go. I don't know how this driving business is going to go. Um, I'm just going to kind of stay out of it and be along for the ride. I'll be the one of the bratty kids in the back. Off to Eggerson. Off to whatever land. Who knows what's going to happen? I'm glad I'm not driving. That's all I got to say. Norske amerikanerne må nå bruke kartet for å finne tunnelstuo i Gjøssingfjord. E39, this is E39. Oh, this is? Yeah, so south on E39. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Look at these rocks, man. Oh. Wow. It's so beautiful. The rocks kind of look like walrus skin. It's just kind of a weird formation, but yet again, super cool. It was like you could stop and take a picture at every corner. Oh, look how beautiful that is. It's gorgeous. That's really cool. Look at that. Mm, cute. Take a picture from this hey, side. Do you have Mark, a camera? why don't you just watch the road? I kind of felt like he was a little maybe distracted or something like that. There was a lot of things going on. Oh, look at that mountain. Look at that mountain. Holy moly. Oh, my god, Mark. <laughs> and um, he needed to perhaps pay attention to the road. Holy crap. And be careful, Mark. Mark kept going over the bumps, you know, like the, the, the center median. <laughs> Speed <laughs> Damon. Oh, wow, that Holy goes. smokes, we almost died on that one. So he was starting to draw, you know, outside of the lines, which could uh, be not so healthy. Mark, um, do you drive a lot in Chicago? Oh, yeah. Oh, OK. Just checking. Well, guys, we're, like, really getting close. Oh, my gosh, look at that view. Vel framme må reisefølge nå komme seg opp og inn i fjellet, hvor det venter en steinbra overraskelse. All right. Let's do this. Oh. Wow. God, it's so beautiful, huh? Yeah. This is so wild, going down this tower. Awesome. Yeah. I kind of feel like I am in the hall of the Mountain King. Really cool. Is this our steinbra? Something. What is this? Oh. What is that thing? That's a fish. No way. Oh, that is a fish. 
I thought, gross. Ugh. I really hope we're not eating this as is. Is this Steinbra? Oh, wow. Is this Steinbra to you, Norway? Is it a rockfish? This meal used to be called a uh, oofisk. Okay. A non-fish. There's something mildly upsetting about seeing something that looks like a fish and having to eat it, and it's like, no, that's not a fish. That's non-fish. It's like, what does that mean? Today, it is considered a delicacy. Of course. Of course, of course. Delicacy. <laughs> delicacy. <Why? laughs> the, the Atlantic catfish, uh, Steinbit, directly here. translated, means rock bite. Take a look at its teeth and imagine what damage it could do to your finger. This thing could probably chew on rocks. It has quite the jaws. Uh, well, guys, I, I, really bad. I guess this is dinner. I don't think nine, so. Nine, 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 uh, nine. What do you think's in there? Whoa, look at this thing. Maybe, yeah, oh. but we're not eating like this, like this. Det stemmer at gjengen ikke skal spise akkurat denne fisken, men de skal få smake på et ferdiglaget steinbitt-måltid. There we go. One, two, three. When I bit in, I was expecting it to just kind of be slimy, oily, fishy-smelling fish. Um, but it wasn't. It was delicious. Mm. It's good. It's really, it's really good. good. It's not like gross at all. Mm. No. It would make a good meat. stew. Yeah. I just really don't want to look at it while I'm eating. The meal was good. I mean, the fish, once it was beheaded and skinned and gutted and all that and cooked, was very delicious. Yeah, this was a good meal. You tasted good, my friend. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers, fish. You know, you're, a rock star. Star. you're a rock star. You're a world, you're a rock star. You're a rock, star. rock bite star. Rock on. Yeah. We should probably clean up. Yeah, let's get yeah. going. Do that. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> what the heck? Oh. oh. More things. Stack Stein, Rugerstein on your map. This, this is, is your, your next, next destination. destination. What? Rugerstein? Okay, find Rugestein. Okay. It's Rugestein. I'm okay with that. Oh, Rugestein is literally right there. Okay, let's well, beat it. All right, let's, let's, make our, let's do this. Let's make our way. Our next stop is Rugesteinen, and I'm guessing it probably means like rugged rocks. Uh, I don't know quite what to expect beyond that, so we'll see. Bye, fish. Bye, Bye fish. fish. Bye, Lady Grey. Hey, let's look at the sign here. Hey, rock things. Rugenstein, the rocking stone on the other side of the river can be rocked by hand. Oh, it is reputed to be the largest rocking stone in the north of Europe. I was surprised to hear that it's rocking. That was nice because it's interactive. Let's go rock Let's rock it. Let's rock and roll, man. So it was like a rolling rock. It was rock and roll. I was brought up in the 60s and 70s, if you can't tell, man. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, rock and roll is pretty much up my alley. Probably this. This guy? It says Rugestein on it. Rugestein. Got a sign on it. When I first saw the Rugestein, I thought, man, this thing is big. Uh, How do you rock this thing? That's crazy. Like, what the heck? No way. Yeah. Where? Where do you want to? Oh, somebody this stuck it. I feel like anything that rocks, there's like a pivot point that you should use to rock it. But we had a little trouble finding it. Well, this side is more up. Which My angle? My Roompa. Maybe it didn't say yeah. how many people Ugh. rock this. Stone. Are you sure this is it? Well, it's yeah, it's Rugenstein. Rugenstein. Well, maybe it's the other way. <laughs> I think we were all just kind of trying to like lean on it, <laughs> see if it would work. It did not work. It's not rocking. Maybe there's a secret password, you know, like um, abracadabra. Hey, over here. Yeah, what? what's it there's say? like a handprint. Oh, that oh. would be a oh, Well, that might help. That, might be that. that would help. <laughs> oh, wait, Look, there's some movement. No way. Oh. Yeah, it's moving. It's totally moving, guys. Oh, no way. Oh, no way. <laughs> Look at that. This rock is so cool. Roll. It felt really cool to be able to just make it rock. It was it was really fun. <laughs> it's cool. This is fun. Boom. The Rugestein is 70 to 80 tons, so it's pretty cool to be able to put a little bit of muscle into it and get it moving. And what I was most amazed by was the sound it made. 
because it was almost like a heartbeat. That calls the trolls. Who's rocking my stone? I would really like to know how the first person who made Rügestein rock, like, did that. Like, I feel like you can't do that on accident. Did some big dude, like, just put his hand there and was like, Snart fortsetter den steinbra reisen. It's in here. Oh my gosh. Ah! I love exploring these caves so much. De får uventet besøk. Får jeg lov å komme inn og være med meg, eller? Hello? Initially, I thought, this is bizarre. I'm coming to eat you. Og i konkurransen må de prøve å ikke knekke trollpikken. Oh god. At this point, we are so close, and it is very important for me to stay in Norway this week. Gjengen er i Sokkendal kommune, og her utforsker de alt som har med stein å gjøre. Hundreds of years ago, the people of Norway didn't have the geological knowledge or understanding of how glaciers, weather, and water have the power to move huge rocks around. Up until today, there are hundreds of rocks spread around the local communities and villages. Many have a tale about the troll that threw it. The trolls are believed to roam the wild and untouched nature of Norway and are said to live in the caves and grottoes, much like the one ahead. Ooh, oh. the caves of Blofeld is a local attraction, and the path ahead will take you there. Do you dare spend the night? Ah, in oh. a cave? In a cave? I am really, really, really excited. I love caves. I don't know why. I think they're really cool. Yeah. All right, well, this will be interesting. I hope we really get to stay in this blue mountain with trolls. How cool is that? I want to see All a right, cave. Let's, let's see a cave. Let's see Blofjell. It's just this way. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right. There we go. Whoa. That's pretty big. It's a big old entrance. I love it. Wow. Well, it looks like it's, looks like it's Whoa. open. Oh. Wow. Open sesame. OK. Nice. Holy cow. Wow. This is a big cave for a big troll. Yeah. I mean, this is our groove, man. Super cool. Yeah. This is so Sweet. cool. Anyone can build a five-star hotel. Look at Donald J. Trump. But only creation can create a cave like this. And who gets to sleep here? We should explore this. So which way do we go, do you think? I see uh, to the right? right? Yeah. To All the right? right? It's in here. Oh my gosh. Should we look this way? Yeah, I don't know. I love exploring these caves so much. It's so fun. Oh, so cool. It's our Indiana Jones moment. Hey, hey, oh, this hey, is the water. Hey, hey. what? Ah! Oh. Yeah, yeah. oh, what's here? Oh, it's our, some, it's our hog lifts. It was a lot of fun exploring the caves. We got some torches and we got to find little treasures. What? What's More over stuff? here? Oh. Yes! Oh. Yay! <laughs> Awesome. We found sheepskins and uh, and plenty of food. All right. Food. 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 What? It appears that the troll left us everything we needed, so I'm content. Thank you, troll. Thanks, trolls. Do you think we're gonna get any spooks tonight? I have a spooky story. Yeah. You do have a spooky yeah. story. That's awesome. Yeah. What's? How's it go? So a little girl, her name was Dana. <laughs> she was hiding in the basement because she heard a noise upstairs. And then she hid in the corner and was hiding. And then she heard a creak as the door opened. And it was a boom! <laughs> It's great to be here in the cave. We got a fire going. We're roasting marshmallows. We're having hot dogs. We're telling ghost stories. It's really, you know, it's a lot of fun. I know this, and I know it's going to happen, but it still got me anyway. <laughs> yeah. Never heard it. I peed my pants. <laughs> yeah, Hi. there you go.
Toy Lobo coming to mom. Really? Hello. Hi. 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 Uh, we were just sitting around the fire and suddenly this woman traveler just stopped by, another tourist. It was so cool. Oh, this looks so nice. Hi. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Hi. What a magic place you have. Initially, I thought, this is bizarre. So what are you doing here? Oh, we're just visiting troll territory. Yeah. What brings you yeah. up here? Yeah. Well, I'm just out walking. I've never been here. No oh, kidding. really? She looked very excited to see us. I thought maybe she hadn't seen people in a while. She was lost in the wilderness, and she's like, finally, humans. I'm a storyteller. OK. okay. Oh, really? But then she was like, no, I'm a storyteller. And I was like, this is going to be good. And I actually tell stories about trolls. Awesome. Can you tell us a story? Would you like? Yes, yes. please. Absolutely. She was pretty cool because she uh, was not just a storyteller. She told stories of trolls. Whoa. Once upon a time, en gang for lenge siden, three billy goats i tre bukkene bruse. They wanted to go to the theater. She did the whole once upon a time thing, and it was like I was like a little kid in an elementary school classroom again. Like the first day, the smallest one came. Tri, tra, tri, tra on the bridge. Who is that tripping on my bridge? Roared the troll from underneath. The gift of storytelling that she had, and you could tell it came from her heart. And her stories just seemed like a nice cup of cocoa with some graham cracker cookies on the side. I'm coming to eat you, roared the troll. Trolls are a wonderful allegory for some of the challenges that we face in life. I don't think that there's an actual beast with some long snout that's coming to get you, although I do you know a couple people that look like that? You just come. I'm going to punch your eyes out of your ears, and I'm going to crush you to bits and bones. She just has a way of kind of capturing her audience. Smash together. And like making us see the world she's talking about. It was awesome. And the trolls fall back, and no one have never seen him again. Can you join me on this? We always end stories like this. Sniff. Sniff. Snuff. 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 På reisen gjennom Norge har de fire blitt nære venner, og når mørket senker seg, preger stemningen av at det snart er klart for konkurranse. Så, du gjør, det er vår siste natt med de fire av oss sammen. Ja, de fire av oss sammen. Hvordan føler dere om det? Det sucks. Det er ikke fun å tenke på det faktet at det kan være min siste natt i Norge, men hvis det er, er det en utrolig vanskelig måte å spørre det. I think about saying, it, I like, don't like to talk about it. I like to enjoy my time here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to think about going home, and so I'm going to talk, talk to the troll people and say, you know, I need to stay a couple more nights. Let's make that happen. And, um, and then hopefully I will become victorious and meet my Norwegian family. And they are not trolls. Is it that time? Yeah. How do you right. feel you're going to be tonight? Cold or? Well, I think if we uh, I'm not set ourselves too up. too cold right now. No, no I I'm think I'm going to be fine. fine. We're in a cave for this evening, and Mark's a snore, Dana's a snore, and uh, Kelsey is also a snore. <laughs> so. Sleep well, good luck. <laughs> I think it'll be not the best night's sleep I've had here in Norway, but it's an experience that's certainly worth having, so I'm glad that we get to experience this. I laughed so hard at you guys last night. The three of you were snoring 
and I, I couldn't even go to sleep. The three of you? The three of you. Really? Yeah. Dana called me out for snoring, and uh, I'm surprised to hear that I snore. I'm sorry, but Chase might snore a little bit. Not quite sure I didn't get up to prove it, but it could be a thing. Well, let's face it. She talks about the voices that she hears very frequently. So I wouldn't be surprised if that was some snoring that was she was hearing in her own mind. Father's Good morning. Hey. Good morning. Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> wow. This is cozy. Yeah, yeah, isn't it nice? You've slept in here, haven't you? Yeah, we did. Yep. I'm sure you've slept like rocks in here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We sure did. Uh, so what do you think of your rocky road so far? <laughs> <laughs> it's been an adventure. We've seen lots of great rocks. The Rugen Rock was, uh, uh, Rugen Sign was really phenomenal. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. loved that. I yeah. did, I absolutely loved it. It was really special. I mean, it, it, what a unique, unique thing. But the biggest attraction is yet to come. And that's called Trollpikken. Trollpikken? Yes. It's one of the most famous rock attractions we have. Yes. You look like you've heard of it. Yeah. yeah. Isn't, is that the, the Troll Tongue one? A no, troll that's, tongue. A, that's the Troll Tongue. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> is this the one that sticks out of the wall? That it one? sort of does, yes. Okay. And it sits, or maybe I should say stands, on the top of a mountain. So it's time for you guys to pack up. And when you get there, it's competition time. And then we'll see who gets to the semifinals of Alt for Norge. Mm. Wow, okay. I'll see you up there. All right, All right. see you soon. Good. Rock on. Rock Good. on. <laughs> see you later. Oh, boy. Oh, man. One of us is going home tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, that's bummer. Like, we'll be in our own beds by tomorrow. It would be heartbreaking to go home at this point in time. Uh, I really want to meet my family here so I can have that experience and share that with the rest of my family when I come home so I can be like, this is the story we know, this is what I learned, and this is who's here now. And I think that that would be really, really special, and I don't want to miss out on that. At this point, we are so close. This whole adventure is winding down, and it was very important for me to stay in Norway this week. A pickin' and a grinning. We've been wrong, like every time, about what we think things are. So I wasn't sure, but pickin', whenever I think of pickin', I think of pickin' my nose, pickin' my pants, pickin' a banjo. So uh, what do you guys think? Does size really matter? <sighs> I'd never heard of troll pickin' before, but I'm eager to see exactly what it looks like. I hear it's big. I see something trees. jutting out. Yep. Oh, oh, it's a chode. It it's a total oh, chode. Wow. <laughs> it looks more like a hitchhiker's Maybe it's from thumb. This angle. It looks like a thumb. I think it looks like a face. To be fair, Kelsey and I saw a face. Yeah, I see the face. There was like a forehead and cheekbones and a nose and a chin. But we don't know what else is behind there. That might, it's, you know, it might be a, a grower. <sighs> Keep moving. Let's All check right. It out. To the cock. <laughs> to the cock. <sighs> I kind of felt like a kindergarten teacher, you know, where a kid finds a dirty word and they keep saying it over and over again. Hi, Kelsey. Hello. How are you? What do you think of uh, my new friend here? That's a big, giant phalloplasty. It's whatever. <laughs> Would you just please stop? Thank you. Just stop, Mark. Sit down, Mark. It's OK. This one's too big for me to handle, that's for oh, sure. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I'm getting a little tired of the puns. How would you feel <laughs> about that, Shaft? <laughs> no banger. I'm just glad it's rock hard and uh, oh, staying up. I knew it was going to happen, but, you know, there are only so many times you can be like, ha, ha, dick, ha, ha, and it's, like, actually funny. 
size matters, I guess, for trolls. It's kind of veiny, too, if you look at those things. <laughs> it's yeah. just not going to stop. I think Chase really likes a lot of my cock humor, and he's trying to come up with some of his own. But the girls, you know, they're, as we do in, in America, they are square. <laughs> you made it. You we found the yeah. yeah. yes. yes, we did. Yeah. Yes. But have you figured out what it means yet? Yeah. No, we don't know. It's don't debatable. Know? It's I can debatable. tell Bear Smile that you figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> but it became famous when someone, and nobody knows who, decided to go ahead and cut it off. Oh. What? what? And the locals were appalled. Yeah. And of course, the media threw themselves at the bad news. Wow. And genital puns were all over the local, national, and also international newspapers. Oh. Okay. And in the end, the locals decided to go ahead and try to raise money to erect it back up again. Yep. And as you can see, they've succeeded. It's wow. a pretty good erection. It's yeah. great. <laughs> so in this week's competition, the four of you are going to try to not cut it off again. OK. So I hope that you've done as I told you and paid attention this week. OK. Because at the end of this competition, somebody has to go home. <sighs> there's a lot riding on this today. And it's not just about me winning, because there's a lot of people who win as well. I want to meet my Norwegian family and bring my United States family over here to meet them. So I have a, a group and a troop that, that are in this as well. I have to fight for them, too. It would be really, really disappointing to go home right before the semifinals, because it's like, I almost made it. I don't want to almost make it. I want to make it. In this competition, you will take turns drawing questions from the pot in front of you. If you get the answer right, the next person in line will draw a new question. But if you get it wrong, you have to come up here and take one of those stones and put it into troll picking. And eventually, it will break from the weight. So whoever put the last stone in, when that happens, has lost the competition. But there is a twist. If you have a question that you don't feel like answering, you can give it to one of the others. And if that person gets it right, then you have to put the stone in. But if that person gets it wrong, then he or she will have to do it. And to determine the order, you will all play rock, paper, scissors, of course. And go ahead. All right. All right. OK. okay. Rock, rock, paper, paper scissors. scissors. Okay. Rock, rock, paper, paper scissors. scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Bam. So Mark, you go first, followed by Dana, then Chase, and then Kelsey. Mark, be my guest. Do you want to take the question yourself? Uh, do you want me to read it? Yeah. What is the Norwegian word for the verb to bite? Uh, bit? I'm afraid that's the wrong answer. Then you have to put a rock into troll picking. Let's see how this goes. Um... Dana, then it's your turn. Would you like to take it yourself? Yes. All right. What construction made of stone did the three billy goats gruff? Cross. I believe it was a bridge. That is the right answer. Which means, Chase, you're up. You have traveled all over Norway. Name one tunnel. Lardal's Tunnel. That is correct, Chase. Then it's your turn, Kelsey. How much does Rugestein weigh? 70 to 80 tons. Kelsey? That is correct. Then it's your turn again, Mark. What does the Norwegian name for catfish directly translate to? It translates to non-fish. Mark, non-fish is incorrect. I'm sorry. The correct answer is stone bite or stone rock bite. bite. That's right. Then you may put another rock. And 
Dana, and it's your turn again. Would you like to answer the question yourself? Um, no. Okay, then you may give it to one of the others. Spell the name of this phallic attraction. Um, T R O L P I K K E N. Mark, that's the wrong answer. There's a double L in troll. Now you have to put another stone in this phallic attraction. I sure do. Now, Chase, it's your turn. Would you like to take the question yourself? Um, no. Then you may give it to one of the others. Dana, maybe? I gave it to her because I didn't think she would know the answer, and I certainly don't want to put a rock in that throw pick. Dana. Then you may read it out loud. What's the name of the train station where you started your Dresden ride? Train station where you started your Dresden ride. Fleckle? I, I'll spell it F L E K K E. Fleckle? Fleckle? Dana, that's the wrong answer. You started your Dresden ride? Yeah. At Selura. Oh, okay. yeah. So you have to put a rock in. There are quite a few rocks in there now. And Kelsey, it's your turn. Would you like to answer it yourself? I would not. Then you may give it to one of the others. What is the name of the railroad you traveled on by Drayson? The Fleckabanden? I'm sorry, Mark. It's Fleckefjordbanden. Give me a small one. Sorry to have to say this, Mark, but it's your turn again. Oh. Do you want to answer the question yourself? Uh, uh, I do not. Then you can give it to one of the others. Dana? Be my guest. So, Dana, what is the question? In Norwegian, where was the three billy goats gruff on their way to? A sitten, sitten, sit, sitten, sit. You have, you have to say one thing. It's a, a, a sitten. Dana, that's the wrong answer. Okay. That means that you have to put a rock. So far, so good, Dana. Mm -hmm. But this means that it's your turn. Do you want to take the question yourself? I do not. Then you may give it to one of the others. At this point in time, I'm getting a little nervous because I've been handed a couple of questions, right, from some of the other contestants, and I'm like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go. It's going to drop at any second. It says, when was the Dresden invented? It was invented in the 1800s. Mark, that's the right answer. And Dana, since Mark got the question right, it means that you have to put a rock into troll picking. Um, no. 
choose wisely. That cock looked a little unstable, so yeah, it made me very nervous. Mm, all right. Oh, God. All right. Mm, please don't die on me. Thank you. Dana, I'm so sorry. That means you've lost the competition. Being on the show, you know sooner or later you're gonna go home. And you're gonna go home either victorious, having met your Norwegian family, or not. And 11 people aren't, and one person is. I just had really hoped to be that one person. Dana, do you remember when you rode the dressing through the tunnel? <laughs> do you remember the first thing you saw in there? Ingeting. It was written in stone. Right, nothing. Right. And we have a saying in Norwegian, which is, Ingenting er skrevet i stein. Mm -hmm. Nothing and is written in stone? Nothing is written in stone. And this week, nothing was written in stone. <laughs> it means that all four of you are going to the semi-finals. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Get miss it. me, people. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow, I am in a state of shock. <laughs> I can't believe I'm still here. I truly thought and had resigned myself that I was leaving, and it was Ingeting. Hey guys, <laughs> yeah. I would never lie to you. Okay. And I said that someone's going home this week, yeah. and that's me. Oh. And you're all coming with me. Where are we what? going? We're going to my hometown. Where's that? That's the capital, Oslo. Yes! <laughs> oh, I feel bad for you, Dana. Oh, you poor thing. Exactly, for sure. So, follow me next week. Da er det semifinale. Da finner vi ut hvem av disse fire som kommer videre til den store finalen i Alt for Norge. Vi ses om en uke. All right, guys. Let's go to Oslo. All right. Neste uke flytter gjengen inn i et kollektiv. Hello. Cool. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. I don't know if I can keep up with them if they invite us to party, though. Go! Og de konkurrerer om å komme til den store finalen. It's a little disconcerting not being able to smell. I think I was going to pass out. I put my finger into what felt like a nostril. <laughs> can you show me what you've written down? Sure.